In this video, I'll show you how to get the magnetic field due to an arc of wire. So the wire will come along and come out like this, carrying a current I. And we want the field here at the center of this circle. Okay, the radius of this will be R capital R, and this angle will be theta. Okay, so we use the Biel-Savard law, which states that the magnetic field is permeability of free space times the current over four pi, and then you have to integrate the ds vector cross r hat over r squared. Okay, so we have to look at what's going on in this integral. So ds is the little element of wire pointing in the direction of current. So there's ds for that part. ds along the arc would be a little straight line tangent to that curve. And then ds up here would be a little element of wire pointing that way. r hat points from this element of wire towards the point of interest. So r hat would be in this direction along the straight part. Our hat would be pointing over here towards that center of the circle. And our hat would be pointing this way for that other straight part. Okay, so for each of these little pieces of wire, we need to do the cross product, cross product, cross product, cross product. You can see on the two straight parts because DS and R are parallel to each other here and anti-parallel there that there's no contribution to B from the straight parts. That's why we made those parts look like that. No contribution to be either there or here. Okay, so it's only the curved part that counts. So in this curved part, let's blow it up a little bit. We've got a ds vector tangent to the curve and we've got an r hat like this. The angle between these two guys is 90 degrees. So cross them, if we cross ds cross r hat, you get magnitude of ds, magnitude of r hat is one, sine of 90, the direction is negative k hat. And so this is just equal to ds, negative k hat. Okay, the negative k hat can come out. And then this little r is from ds to the point of interest, there's little r. And in this case, little r is just equal to capital R and it's constant too as we go around that arc. So this will become mu naught i, the negative k hat comes out, the ds stays in, the r, little r becomes capital R and comes out. Oops, I forgot four pi. Okay, this ds, this is just the arc length. And so that's just equal to r theta. So this becomes mu naught i, negative k hat, r theta, cancels one of the r's on the bottom. And there's our result for the magnetic field due to an arc of wire. And theta has to be in radians. Okay. So what would happen if we turned that arc into a full circle of current? So let this be I, let this be R, and we want B in the middle of the circle, B. Well, we simply let theta be two pi because it goes all the way around. And then when we substitute into the magnetic field, we get mu naught I negative K hat two pi divided by four pi is just two, the pi's are gone. Okay, and this is the formula for the loop, a loop of wire. So that's the magnetic field at the center of the loop. Notice how there's no pi. As far as the negative k hat goes, in this case, it would be into the page. And the way you figure that out is you use your fingers for the current, of your right hand, current is fingers, and your thumb is the B field. 
So just curve your fingers around in a clockwise direction, your thumb points into the page. So the magnetic field points into the page. If you were to have a current counterclockwise, the magnetic field would point out of the page. So basically loops of wire like this, they act like little magnets. And this would have a magnetic field. This one have a magnetic field like this. So if this is a current I, this would be B. Oops, oh, I got that wrong. Right hand, it's gotta go the other way. I'll just erase the current. So the current would go this way for that one. Oh my gosh, this way. Yeah. Okay, so be careful. So that's your right hand you gotta use and it acts like a little current loop. Now there's a question on one of your mastering physics assignments that looks like this. Piece of wire comes around like this. Current flowing in this wire. The same current all the way around. Uh, we want the field here at the center. The radii, let's just say there are one and R2. Okay, so theta in this case is pi over two. And now you have to do the right hand rule. The field from this inner one, I'm gonna try to get my hand the right way going clockwise. So this, this would be, this one would have a negative K hat at the center of the circle, but this one would have a positive K hat because it's going counterclockwise so that your thumb would point up towards you. So to get the net field at the center, the mu naught i is the same for both of them. Uh, there's a two. Okay, the R1's got a negative k hat. So we'd have a negative k hat with the R1, but we'd have a positive k hat with the R2. And that would be the formula for the net field at the origin due to that funny shape. Remember the straight parts don't contribute, only the curvy parts. 